Following the success of the military coup that ushered him into the presidency of Burkina Faso, Ibrahim Traoré has taken significant strides including speaking up against Western influence and their ill intentions in Burkina Faso and Africa as a whole. He has fostered collaboration with Russia to facilitate the country's development. In a meeting held earlier in August with business owners and youth representatives, the military junta outlined their plans to reclaim the country's gold mines ensuring rightful profits. Subsequently, the nation recently announced a revision to its mining code aimed at maximizing profits from gold production. Under the updated mining regulations, Burkina Faso will now collect up to 7% in royalties from gold production companies. This marks a notable increase from the previous 5% royalty rate which was fixed regardless of prevailing market conditions. The revised rates reflect a more flexible and responsive approach. The minimum royalty rate has been raised to 6% for gold spot prices exceeding $1,500 per ounce, indicating a 1% increment from the previous rate. Further adaptation to market dynamics is evident in the 6.5% royalty rate applicable when gold spot prices range from $1,700 to $2,000 per ounce for the upper echelons of the gold market, where prices surpass $2,000 per ounce. The royalty rate has been set at 7% representing a 2% increase from the previous rate. To enforce these changes, a decree implementing the new levy on gold production was signed on October 27. This initiative aligns Burkina Faso's royalty system with neighboring gold mining jurisdictions emphasizing the nation's commitment to optimizing the collection of royalties from its gold mining industry. This strategic move will ensure Burkina Faso's ability to effectively navigate market fluctuations and external challenges. The motivation behind these changes finds its roots in the challenging circumstances faced by Burkina Faso in 2022. As one of Africa's major gold producers, the country experienced a substantial 133% decline in gold production resulting in an annual output of 58.2 tons, according to government data cited by Bloomberg News. This decline can be attributed to a combination of factors including heightened security concerns that led to the closure of at least five mines as well as political unrest stemming from two coups that shook the nation. In the wake of these challenges, military leader Ibrahim Traoré seized power in September 2022 toppling the regime of fellow soldier Colonel Paul-Henri Sandogo Damaba, who had seized power in January of the same year. The rates are capped at 7% over $2,000 per ounce, which results in a modest $6 to $8 increase per ounce in West African Resources 2023 All-In Sustaining Cost AISC, per ounce at current gold prices, said Richard Hyde, chair of West African Resources. The company added it did not expect the increase in royalties to negatively impact the debt funding of its 7.7 .7 million ounces Kiaka Gold project in Burkina Faso. The project's funding uses conservative gold price assumptions in the range of $1,700 per Oz for the loan. Burkina Faso's largest gold producer in Endeavor Mining chose not to comment on the new royalty rates. Other notable players in Burkina Faso's mining sector include companies like I Am Gold Corp and Nord Gold. Before Ibrahim Traoré assumed power as the military leader of Burkina Faso, the state's involvement in mining operations was regulated solely by stability clauses. The realm of royalties remained largely unregulated affecting both existing and new mining contracts. Recognizing the need for adaptation, Burkina Faso's government has shifted its focus to proactively shape the nation's economic future. Before we proceed, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and turn on notifications to get more exciting and educative updates. It is crucial to note that the country especially the southeast part continues to grapple with a highly volatile security situation as the ruling junta confronts a growing Islamist insurgency. Ibrahim Traoré has been diligently working to regain control over territories lost to militant groups. Despite his efforts, attacks by armed actors persist. In addition to these challenges, international powers such as the United States and France have suspended aid and budgetary assistance to Burkina Faso in response to the political instability caused by the coups. On February 18, 2022, the United States halted nearly $160 million in U.S. aid to Burkina Faso following the January coup that ousted Democratic President Raj Kaber. This decision was made under a U.S. law stating that U.S. foreign aid except funds promoting democracy must be stopped in a country whose elected head of government is deposed by a military coup or in a coup where the military plays a decisive role. 
Additionally, the Millennium Challenge Corporation a U.S. government foreign assistance agency announced on its website that on January 31 it had paused activities related to a compact agreement signed in August 2020 providing $450 million in funding to Burkina Faso. Such agreements typically cover five years according to Reuters. France also suspended its development aid and budgetary assistance to Burkina Faso on August 7 as confirmed by its foreign ministry. France's development aid to Ouagadougou totaling $482,530 million and budget support for 2022 amounting to $13 million were abruptly halted. Although the official statement did not specify the reasons behind the aid cut it coincided with Burkina Faso and Mali both under military rule expressing strong support for the junta that had ousted Niger President Mohamed Bazoum in a military coup in July. Both West African nations sharing borders with Niger declared any military intervention in Niger a declaration of war a stance conflicting with that of the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS. ECOWAS had given the coup leaders a seven-day ultimatum to reinstate Bazoum threatening to consider forceful means if the deadline was not met. Adding to the diplomatic strain Burkina Faso's Minister of State Basalma Bezi revealed during the 78th Union General Assembly that France had blocked the supply of weapons purchased by the country. Basalma Bezi claimed the delivery of military equipment the country had purchased by the sweat of its people's brow was being blocked in countries including Brazil, the USA, Belgium and Canada and this at the instigation of France, he alleged. This action has the potential to impede the Traoré government's efforts to address the security challenges in the country. It is worth noting that the military takeover was primarily driven by the democratic government's inability to effectively combat an Islamist insurgency that has resulted in the loss of thousands of lives and the displacement of over one million people in West Africa. The suspension of aid and the disruption of military equipment supplies could further complicate the government's ability to address this pressing issue. The decision to revise gold production royalty rates represents a significant change in Burkina Faso's approach to economic stability particularly amidst security concerns political uncertainties and pressures from foreign powers. The adjustment of its mining code aims to boost revenue collection and fiscal stability playing a crucial role in shaping the nation's economic trajectory. This move enables Burkina Faso to be more adaptive to the challenges posed by the modern gold market ensuring that the country's resources are harnessed to benefit its people. This move comes as a strategic response to the recent downturn in gold production. By raising royalty rates, Burkina Faso seeks to capitalize on high gold prices and maximize its earnings from the mining sector, which is a significant contributor to its export revenue. The increase in royalties is expected to generate additional revenue for the government during prosperous periods, thereby offsetting the decline in gold production and boosting government revenue. The revised mining code reflects the government's efforts to ensure that it benefits significantly from the country's natural resources. These moves highlight Burkina Faso's commitment to optimizing its mining sector and maximizing its economic potential. The increase in royalties may also incentivize investment in Burkina Faso's mining industry. Higher royalties can provide a favorable investment climate by offering attractive returns for mining companies. This, in turn, can attract more foreign investment and stimulate economic development in the country. However, it is important to strike a balance between increasing royalties and maintaining the competitiveness of the mining sector. Excessive royalty rates could discourage investment and hinder the growth of the mining industry. Therefore, it is crucial for Burkina Faso to carefully consider the impact of these changes on mining companies and strike a balance that benefits both the government and the industry. Overall, Burkina Faso's decision to increase royalties reflects its commitment to maximizing the potential of its mining sector. By adjusting royalty rates to reflect the current gold price environment, the government aims to increase its revenue and stimulate economic growth. This move also demonstrates Burkina Faso's determination to address challenges in the mining sector and ensure the long-term sustainability of its natural resources. While this decision could be seen as a sign that Africa is beginning to regard its resources, could it negatively affect Burkina Faso's economy? And is Ibrahim Traoré's decision to side with Mali and Niger a good one for the nation of Burkina Faso? Please let us know what you think in the comment section as you leave your reviews and opinions. Thanks for watching please like and share the video. See you in our next video and until then stay safe.